Hello everybody, Van Berman here. Welcome to another RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. Uh, I've had a message, or a comment even, from uh, Kawani1. presume I pronounced your name correctly. Um, you want to know how to actually use your sprites. <clears throat> and how to, well, presume how to get the most out of them, or how to... Yeah. I don't know. I'm a bit confused by your question, but I will try uh, to explore a possibility. So the first thing is, when you're importing your... Uh, sprites to make sure you're doing it in the right place, of course. So sprites will go in to here, which is graphics slash characters for sprites. So I'm just going to import some ones from uh, the game I'm doing. Where are we? Not that one. There we go. Um, oh, which one is it? Right. So. We're just going to add a couple of sprites in. Uh, we're going to put her in. Obviously, make sure that the translucent color is there so that it works properly. I don't know why that dot's there for, but never mind. And we'll import another one as well. There. Okay. So we've got two of them imported now, and they're in the right folder. They're in the characters. So there's a couple of things we can do with them. Uh, for the actors, we can click on their sprite and we can select a new sprite sheet for them so that will then turn your main characters into that uh, that's one way of being able to use your sprites for main characters another thing is for example NPCs so if I want to make a new event it will be here so NPC number one and then on the graphic you would then go to um, <clears throat> your it brings up your sprites again and you would then pick on the one you want to appear on your map and then we could have her say something like no, it wouldn't be capital H would it no hello there <laughs> so then she will say hello there uh, obviously if you want to put a face in you can do should I just quickly do that yep we shall so faces import Uh, that's the old one, but okay. <laughs> I think it's the old one, anyway. Um, <clears throat> edit, face graphic. There, she's happy, she's smiling. I wonder if I've actually got the changed one. Uh, I'm lacking a little bit, but anyway, never mind. So, yep, so it's in there, and you would then go on to play your game. Hopefully everything's muted. And then when it comes and loads up, there you go. She'll be there on the map. And, whoa. And then you can perhaps talk to her. And then she will say, hello there. And everything is all better. Uh, that's basically pretty much everything you can do with sprites. Of course, if you've got the visual battler system, uh, they will appear on there as well. So if we go on to troops... And we make sure that Natalie's in there because, of course, she needs to be for the new sprite to take effect. And you'll see there's the one that I imported earlier. And yeah, it'll work just as well as any of the other ones. Uh, there's not really too much else to be said, to be honest. Uh, you could make the enemies be, you know, sprites as well, but you generally have your own battler information for them um, but yeah I mean that is pretty much it uh, to be honest just for your main characters for your NPCs with your events and that's basically how you would have your characters in the game I'm not really sure um, what else you would use them for but hopefully that will help and um yeah, good luck with whatever you're creating, Kwani1. And uh, thank you very much for asking me a question. If you have any more uh, to ask on it, you can, of course, put a comment on this video. And uh, I'll see if I can help you, if necessary. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.